The scene is from Dragon Slayer, a movie epic about the Middle Ages. These films have never been more popular. But what if you don't just want to watch? What if you want to get into the action, like in this scene from the movie Excalibur? Now you probably don't have much chance to break a siege at a castle, so you may feel you have to be content only to read about medieval combat. Well, not always. I'm Lord Sire Foe. I am Lord Michael Löweborg uh, from the Barony of Thor's Mountain. I am Squire, Lord Gwydion ap uh, I'm Akim Yaroslavic. Lord Richard of Wales. Graham Angus McNear called the Garrulous. I am Ariel de Chantre, my lord. Andreas the Burned. Who are all these people? I'm an, uh, an alchemist from uh, the 10th century in Wales. And uh, I also build siege engines and weapons. I'm a member of the William Wallace Rebellion, which is fighting against to drive the English out of, back out of Scotland. I'm a 13th century Russian from the city of Novgorod in central Russia. I am lady in waiting to Queen Eleanor of Aquitaine, Queen Mother of England, while King Richard is on quest in the Holy Land. With all my titles, Squire to Sir Cedric and a companion in the Order of the Sable Griffin. You have stumbled onto the summer solstice outing of the Society for Creative Anachronism, the SCA, a group devoted to recreating life in the Middle Ages. People are here from the Shire of Volpine's Reach, that is Chattanooga, the Barony of Thor's Mountain, better known as Knoxville, and the Shire of Gladenfeld, Nashville to you and me. They've all taken medieval names and make-believe life stories. The first order of business today is a fight. It's called a list, a double elimination playoff between fighters dressed in homemade but accurate armor. They carry weapons made of rattan, a kind of bamboo. I was in the society for some six months, joined originally as a minstrel and just a general history buff and thought that the people in the armor were maybe a bit touched. Uh, they finally talked me into trying it one day and about 30 seconds into the fight, it, I was hooked. It, it gets you, it's a general feeling, especially after you figure out that you really don't get hurt. The armor gets hurt. Fighting is judged on an honor system. If you get hit hard enough, you're expected to fall down and die. The mark of a good fighter is that he gives his opponent every break and still wins. Chivalry? Chivalry. Chivalry is the byword of the SCA, especially in the fighting arts. Uh, Chivalry is the most important thing to us. It is more important than winning. I would rather be chivalrous and lose than win. Now you can imagine this kind of event brings its share of onlookers. And we have a lot of people coming up going, What are you? And of course we try to speak for soothly to these people and keep our, our, uh, our civilized behavior. And we do receive a little bit of abuse from time to time, people who, who think that we're freaks and want to, well, that's their option if they want to believe that. But we catch the romantic who says, I too love Errol Flynn and I, I yearn to hold a sword in my hand and they join us and we found a new brother or sister as it may be. SCA members know their recreations aren't entirely accurate. No, uh, uh, my teeth would be falling out in about five years and there'd be a good chance I wouldn't live past uh, 30 years of age. We have hot and uh, cold running showers. Uh, we are reliving some of the aspects and leaving others behind, uh, the best of both worlds as it were the Middle Ages with plumbing. We've reached the finals of today's tournament. On one side, we have Lord Telefer Esquire, Order of the Silver Heart, in real life, a TVA engineering associate. And on the other, Richard Fenwick Esquire of Chattanooga, in real life, a TV cameraman. For the championship of the summer solstice, lay on. In the end, the victory was decided by the summer heat instead of force of arms. After many rounds under the sun in tight, heavy armor, Lord Talifair had to concede. The victor and champion of the summer solstice is Richard Fenwick. Now this may seem like all there is to the SCA, but there's much more. In the evening, the Baroness of Thor's Mountain held court. It's a chance for honors to be bestowed upon the worthiest and most active SCA members. In a variety of activities, 
from poetry to pottery. You might draw analogies to uh, Boy Scouts where rank is attained by doing good deeds and, and uh, gaining in skills in the arts and sciences. One of the members honored was this Viking who won the coveted award of arms. Uh, up until this time, I was a member of the, of the common people, just a, you know, an ordinary, everyday person. And with this ceremony, I've been elevated out of the commoner status into essentially the first level of the gentry. A feast follows court with recipes straight from the Middle Ages. Chicken with lemon and orange, onion pie, that sort of thing. This is no isolated event. The SCA has eight kingdoms throughout the U.S., plus dozens of shires and baronies. The pageantry continued throughout the meal as Sir Siegfried took a new apprentice. You are now my squire. Every once in a while, you'll be in a court, and suddenly, it all seems, the music or the ceremony, it all becomes real and you forget there's a jet flying overhead and you forget you have to go to work Monday and you forget you've got to stop and get gas. It all becomes real and you're suddenly in the 12th century and it's all worthwhile.